Betty? Yes. The goal of the Meat Sciences Lab at the University of Arizona is to educate students about the proper ways to prepare much of the food we eat long before it gets to the kitchen table. And in hard economic times, the lab has taken on a more prominent role in professional development. When the San Manuel mine closed down, the county came to us and asked us if we would set up a program to train meat cutters because there was a number of those gentlemen, of course, that were out of work and they wanted to give them a different career. So we started a training program. In fact, we trained 40 some of those laid off miners at that time and we still have continued that. For most of them it's difficult because the terminology and the things that they're doing is quite different. So what we do is we provide them with some handout materials that discuss carcass parts, terminology, with the idea they start to become familiar with those terms. And then we put them in on a hands-on situation with our experienced people and they start to learn the cuts and do the cutting and then they start to progress. And as they develop what we call knife skills, uh, we allow them to do additional things uh, to learn a lot more about the actual processing. And what we try to do is set it up so a particular a trainee would work with one of our experienced people and basically our program is five days a week for four months or essentially they put on in 100 or 640 hours in the training program then they're certified in HACCP, hazard analysis and critical control points and also we test them at the end of the period so it makes them ready to go into the retail meat trade or into a packing plant what he's doing now is removing the kidney and pelvic fat. And of course we have uh, safety regulations that they have to abide by. And then when they're, they're doing the cutting and so on, they have to wear safety gloves and, and the right uh, clothing. So that becomes very important. Another thing that is stressed in this, this training is the fact of sanitation. Because we're under a HACCP program. So those people are drilled at least twice a day with regard to proper ways to sanitize equipment and et cetera, and especially themselves. Because one of the bad things in the food industry, 23% of, of the foodborne illnesses is caused by poor employee sanitation. So that's one thing we really stress heavily. What you get out of this program is how aggressive you are in stepping in and, and volunteering to do these various things. And there's quite a difference in individuals, as you might expect, in doing this. But uh, for the most part, uh, they develop pretty good skills.